Yes, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Hello everybody out there in Retrospection Gaming on YouTube and those of you who are watching the live recording on Twitch as well. If you want to watch the live recording, it's twitch.tv slash you and Spence because I cover a whole bundle of other stuff there as well. Uh, but if not, welcome uh, to the channel and also remember we've got facebook.com slash Retrospection Gaming as well. Today's review, we're going to go back to 1985 uh, on the ZX Spectrum and a game where you could literally win a car uh, coming out of Firebird Software uh, and at that point British Telecom, you know, BT, the phone, phone supplier. They said that this game was uncrackable, uh, you couldn't poke in it, and it was really hard. And whoever finished the second game and proved that you could finish it would win a portion 924 or 12 and a half grand in cash, which is about five seconds of the earnings from Ninja. Um, when he does his streaming on whatever platform he's using now. Right, okay. The game, of course, is Gyron. Now, Gyron, there's actually three versions of this game. Um, two came on the cassette. Um, Gyron Atrium and Gyron Necropolis. Now, Necropolis is the one that you had to complete, get to the end, send in the code and message it came up, and, if, and if whoever did that would win the card. Now, it turned out that... Um, um, the quote here says about 60 people uh, managed to do that. So they organised a playoff uh, that would happen in three cities. Everybody would start at the exact same time uh, on, on on basically the Gyron Championship level, which was eventually um, released uh, later on. It was called Gyron Arena. It came out on, on budget. And the person who won that one in the fastest time, so it was a knockout, that person got the car or the money. It is not recorded whether they took the car or the money. Uh, World of Spectrum just says that it managed it in 18 minutes watching it from scratch, which I think is impressive, although I've not seen the size of the map for Giant Arena, because this game uh, was incredibly expensive at the time, it has to be said. Um, but it also had some of the greatest box graphics ever, and you thought, if that game plays as smoothly as it does, I'm going to really enjoy that. And here's the thing. It was an expensive title. It was a tenner. It was, you know, but you had a chance to own a car. Uh, and the graphics were sumptuous from the start and smooth flowing. And remember, you were talking 1985 here. So most people have had a spectrum for about a year. Okay, you might have played Checkered Flag um, or such like. So you've seen a little bit of graphics power. Um, maybe Dark Storms and stuff as well. But here we are. Let's, let's start again. See, that's your loading screen. And the game loads up, and you've got the sundown because the 12 parts of the Zodiac um, play a part of this game as well. And then your game would load in, and you'd have this, literally, this full-screen graphic that would pass out this 12-sided shape. I think it's 12-sided. Uh, and you would be thrown into this, the world of Gyron. And this is the demo mode running. Uh, and you can see you've got a 3D maze game here. Uh, with, with, with stars in, in the sky. And that helps you actually orient yourself. If you wrote down the stars pattern, you could tell whether you're facing north, south, east or west because you don't have a compass in the game. You do have a top-down view of a little bit of the map. You've got your wavy energy bars uh, and this thing down here, which is showing you what zone you're in. Now, there are 12 zones um, representing the signs of the zodiac that help you get through. Uh, right, we're into the game now and your controls are basically forward and slow down if you hit into a wall you'll see you lose energy bars and if you stand still and press back you flip over and do a u-turn now and we can go from side to side and uh these red and green bars inside the green dot represents you so we can see that we've got a red that red bar says you've got space at the side of you so you can move to the side so it's just a handy way to show where you were now the one thing we didn't show you, which is the last thing we can do you, is around this maze there are lots of towers. So you can see them in the 2D map, and you can see the orientation of the towers on. And that becomes vital because you can only do something when you hit the back of the tower. Hold down the fire button, you've got a guidable laser. There we go. Now here, the tower gets destroyed. Um, and if you think that they're all going to be easy and help get the tower destroyed as you travel the maze, no. Now, some of them is true. Some of them you will just get destroyed. i got to watch I don't accelerate too much here because I'm pinging myself into a wall. So, 
and then you got something moving. Well, that's very straightforward. We'll get to them in a second. This has a lot of things that Spectrum fans over the time of the Spectrum would grow to love uh, and be able to do. Why have I got myself back to the start place again? Uh, first one is, uh, like with any good Spectrum game, there's a lot of mapping that you're able to do here. You can just map away, draw maps, graph paper. Of course, it is a square map. Uh, and now you'll see if we've got a little bit of a problem here because if we go down this gap here, we can ping that tower in front of us, but the tower here is going to fire down this line, which is basically there. So we can take out that tower, but if we go down here, well, let's show you what happens here because it is review after all. Boom! Dead. And in this game, dead is dead. It's not a, oh, I'm going to take a bit of shield off you. It's dead. Go back to the start. No extra lives, no nothing. It was really, really vicious. But all the time in the back of your head, you're going, well, it should be hard because you can win a car with it. Fair enough. So this is where you start to need the mapping stuff building up here because you remember that we got those sort of two towers that got in the way. So rather than... You see there, we just get the top one poking at the top of the screen. What we do is if we just flip over, you will now see, hopefully, assuming my spatial awareness gets me right, that if we sneak down here, we are going to be able to knock out that tower. Ha ha ha! Boom! It's gone. But of course you'll also remember that if we wanted to go down that way, i.e. the top left of our little corner of the map, you'll see that that tower is already pointing at us. So we get to trundle back now. Trundle, 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 trundle. There we go. Pop ourselves around there. Thank you, so you notice how you can speed up, so you've got to slow down first, so you slam in the wall. So part of the game here is just the patience to move through the maze. Dum, 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 boom, boom. And you'd have your maze, and you'd, this is a perfect sort of Sunday afternoon, oh, I am not don't have to go to school today, game where you would just literally just work on your map, bundle it through, there were very few points where you actually needed to go fast. That's not to say there weren't any points where you had to go fast. There are some points where you were literally waiting for the right time to put your foot down. Now, hand on heart, I never finished this game. I didn't come close to finishing this game. Now, there's actually two games. Side A is Atrium, which is the easier uh, of the levels, so we're told. Uh, and side B of the game is Necropolis. Necro I can't even pronounce that nowadays. It's Necropolis. You know, they're dead. Uh, and it was the Necropolis that you needed to take on to win the car. Now, it wasn't just towers that could destroy. If we just have a little look at this tower here, you'll see that to my left, which I'm about to go down, you cannot pass. Oh, I was so close to it as well. What you have to shoot is you have to shoot the tower behind you and it turns them round. Oh, great. I have to get there and get there. I'm going to have to try and get round there. You know, I'm just going to take precautionary shoot. Okay, round we go. So there's a lot of exploration to go through for you to find the exit and get to the next level um, or get to the prize. So... Chiron was one of those games, it's certainly one that I, that I picked up. I picked up, my dad, I think my dad picked it up. Well, there's a Porsche to win. Uh, and I remember playing and mapping this, and I remember that it was frustrating. And I had a little run through this when I downloaded it, partly to make sure everything was running, because, you know, that's what you do uh, with these things, but also to see if I could remember where the frustrating part was. See, look, I can't go down there either. Because I'll take out a tower. 
lots of frustration, lots of stuff going on. You see there that the the dodecahedron is now sort of changing colour because you're going into a next section. You can't go down that way because there's a tower pointing that way as well. So you had a maze, and then you had a maze within a maze with walls going over the top of it. So you had a lot of exploration to go through. You had a lot of maps to go through, uh, and it's it was all just really, really. You know, kind kind of different, kind of exciting, and in terms of the graphics and the speed, you know, for its time, this was a speedy game. This was putting a lot of stuff around the screen. This was, this was, cutting edge. Like, yeah, like, look at this. Look how much this can go. It was, you know, it, it was the bee's knees. It was difficult. It was frustrating. Do not get me wrong about that. It was frustrating because not only did you have this huge maze that it was, it's quite slow to go through, to ponder through. But at the same time, that instant kill was just annoying. So here, this is where we killed last time. Which rather than just show you, I'm going to actually go around. So watch the orientation of the towers at the bottom of the map. They flip round. So now I can safely drive my way through here. And because I might come back this way, let's just flip the towers around again by shooting this top tower. Oh, it doesn't do it. Oh, but I can do a long range. Can I do a long range shot? Obviously not. No. Well, there we go. Oh, it doesn't move them back again. That's going to be awkward, but is it my problem at the moment? Maybe I, maybe no. My problem, I think right now, and the last section I want to show you here in the review to show you the final amount. So you see there that as we turn around the corners, the Starfield goes with us. So that kind of, it's a bit like uh, the backdrop in Tiernar uh, Nock, where you see that, is you have the rolling things from the prisoner. And here is where speed is vital, because at one point, they all sort of get out the way just enough for you to get through. And I think it's no, 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 go, 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 and then slam the brakes on. Ah, I mean, it takes up half my power. Ah, but there we go. And you have to go through that section a couple of times, so it's just, oh. Now, will that be death? No, because I'm not right next to them and they don't have clear line of sight. Well, that's handy. So we can pop around here. But that would be instant death if we get around there. And that is a tower that we would... Yeah. You've got that puzzle to solve when you come through to do the mapping again. Gyron is a huge game. Um, it's an early game which required patience, skill, a bit of graphing power um, on a bit of paper beside your computers. It's the sort of things that if you th you look at the games in Spectrum uh, later on, your platform adventures, your, your move arounds, mapping was always a big part of it and uh, avoiding the enemy and solving puzzles. Gyron was one of those games that actually did have all of that quite early on the Spectrum's life, 1985, as I said. You've got your mapping, you've got your puzzles, you've got your enemies. It's a different viewpoint. It's not, you know, it's not 2D platformer like the likes of Robocop or Hong Kong Fui. Why, why, why? I'm not quite sure. It has it all. It's in 3D. It looks spectacular. It, it plays at a much more sedate pace than I, I was looking for when I was much younger. Let's just go with much younger, shall we? But it's, you know, it's a really good technical achievement on the spectrum. Certainly, I thought that time, you go back and look at things like, you've also got things like Tau Ceti and, and Dark Star going, they're in that sort of same, not too many lines on the screen, but moving them around very quickly. But for me, at that point in age, Gyron was the one that was the big 3D expansive mage, a huge world that you had to explore. And it's got a lot of good memories. Nowadays, it is helped if you've got a map on the other screen, um, but then you realise just how big the atrium and the necropolis were. Um, and 
I don't even think with the maps I would have been able to solve it when I was a kid, let alone get a qualification to go through the final round and then solve that in 18 minutes. I mean, we've been running this review, weren't we? <laughs> We're nowhere close to getting past the first two or three puzzles. The experts have already finished it. That there is Gyron. Um, you'll get that in the usual places um, for downloads. Um, if you're looking at, for, it's actually quite a popular one on eBay as well. You do see quite a few of them pop up on eBay because it's a it's a large sized box. It's not just a, it's not just a small cassette inlay. It's one of the box things like the sizes of Scrabble and such like. So um, it's definitely worth a look and having a playing through. Um, nowadays, though, I am not so sure. It's recommended for his the historical power of, you know, being able to be sold uh, and being have a competition in there nowadays mm, i mean i recommend it i recommend everything because you get to see how games develop uh, but it's not one i would sit down and play with just now for fun I, there are other choices out there in retro land thanks for watching